Ukrainian soldiers tell about close battles with Russia in Bakhmut. The fighting between Russia and Ukraine took place fiercely at the Bakhmut fire pan, where the soldiers of the two sides faced each other, fighting hand to hand to win every meter of land. Fighting between Russia and Ukraine in the city of Bakhmut, on the Eastern Front, has seen intense close combat, Ukrainian soldier Dmitro Vatagen, 48, told the Washington Post. In some cases, the Ukrainian army entered house to house looking for an opponent and was forced to engage in hand to hand combat. Hand to hand combat took place. Each soldier had his own battle story. In Bakhmut, Vatagen said. The main force that Russia deploys in Bakhmut is the private military group Wagner. Vatagen said that Wagner members fought fiercely, attacking non stop, leaving Ukrainian forces in some situations exhausted. According to U.S. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby, Wagner may have recorded as many as 30,000 casualties, but the force and Russia have not commented on Washington's figures. In the past time, Wagner has gained momentum in several areas in the strategic city of Bakhmut, closing the siege of the opponent. However, observers said that both sides suffered heavy losses in the confrontation. Vladimir Nazarenko, a Ukrainian field commander in Bakhmut, said the line was being held and there was no order to withdraw but the situation was very difficult. The situation in Bakhmut and around it is absolutely hell, Mr. Nazarenko described. Western officials and experts say that Russia's great loss to capture Bakhmut does not seem to be worth the strategic value of the city. Defense Minister Lloyd Austin said that even if Ukraine fell in Bakhmut, Russia would not be able to change the course of the war. However, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned that if Kiev lost Bakhmut, Russia could push further into the Donbass in the next phase of the war. Ukraine has ordered more reinforcements in an effort that observers see as a counterattack against Wagner, who has complained in recent times about serious ammunition shortages. Wagner's representative earlier admitted that the group was facing heavy damage due to lack of ammunition and should not have suffered such a large loss. On the other hand, some experts warn that Ukraine's sending of elite forces to Bakhmut to retake a city that has been besieged from all sides may affect Kiev's counterattack plan in the next stage. Observers say it may be time for Ukraine to cut its losses in Bakhmut. Michael Kaufman, an expert on the Russian military at the Center for Naval Analysis, USA backslash, said, the resilient defense of Bakhmut has achieved a lot, consuming Russian manpower and ammunition. Ukraine's strategy seems to have reached a point where the benefits, compared to the losses, are diminishing. The war in Bakhmut is no longer in Ukraine's interest, Kaufman said, warning that if Ukrainian forces continue to give resources to Bakhmut the war in Bakhmut is no longer in Ukraine's interest, translation is more important in the future.